My name is Rick Renner, and this is February 2nd, and our gem today is called, What to Do When Your Spirit is Inwardly Disturbed. And our scripture is 2 Corinthians 2.13, where the Apostle Paul is describing himself, and his spirit is inwardly disturbed. And here's what he says. I had no rest in my spirit because I couldn't find Titus, my brother. Paul was disturbed because he couldn't find Titus. And when the Bible says, I had no rest, it's the Greek word anasis. This word anasis describes someone who is inwardly troubled, they can't find relief from what they're feeling, or they're unable to shake something off. And Paul wasn't able to shake it off. He had no rest in his spirit because he couldn't find Titus. We need to pay careful attention to our spirits because sometimes when our spirits are inwardly disturbed, that's the Holy Spirit speaking to us, telling us that we need to pray. I've learned many times in my life, I need to pay attention to the condition of my spirit because when I'm inwardly disturbed, that's usually the Lord saying, Rick, you need to pray. That's what I want you to think about today. 